you want, Chrome Boy. Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev? Man, it's off. I already told all you knuckles all there is to say. Relax. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck do you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. All right. Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh yeah? And why's that? Because the police report itself was falsified. Why else would that be, if not to cover up a weak alibi? Man, you gotta be kidding me. That's some weak ass shit right there. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. You said you'd both been drinking heavily prior to the accident, and the reason Evelyn fell was because she was drunk. We both know that isn't true. Man, that shit was in the papers. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit, and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outburst. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? She told you she was pregnant, and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? Lim. Your family's sizable investments in Lim assured the autopsy performed on Evelyn's body would never see the light of day, and her death would simply fall through the cracks of an already crumbling justice system. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. Alright, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She was going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her! I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. But the dumb bitch started freaking out. So I hit her again and, until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and, and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice. She trapped me. She just wanted my money. I would have been ruined. I need to go. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? What? What about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. Malik, please tell me you got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. 
You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. All right, Malik. It's hacked. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, Mila? I'm in. Mila? Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. So and done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Jensen. Malik. First, take this. I was going to use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what are you going to do now? I have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't going to buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. With that and the evidence from the autopsy, there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. Are you facing the hive? It's almost showtime. In three, two. Malik. Just watch. I don't. I don't know. Evelyn, that's a stupid bitch. She's going to ruin me. I. I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Malik, Evelyn, remind me never to piss you off. Baby, so After everything you've done here for Evelyn. For me, you'd have to try pretty hard, mister.
completed the project which has consumed all of my attention. You're referring to the Indian project. Our best chance at doing this is to modify open tensions through a combination of iron Forget it, man. You're not my type. This isn't a booty call, Van Bruggen. This is about you and some friends of yours I met in Detroit. Detroit? Yeah, okay. I got it now. You had Seraph, right? You were there when I had to pull the plug. So you admit it. You were running a mole. The heck, man. Just the heck. Worst decision I ever made taking that gig. As you can obviously see. You attack my people, Windmill. You hope to walk away from this, you tell me what you know. Down, boy. I've got no allegiance to that backstabbing bitch who hired me. Especially after she painted a target on my back. The girl you want is Zhao Yunru. Tai Young Medical CEO. Tai Young Medical? They're Seraph's biggest competition. How do you think they got that way? Zhao doesn't like competition, see? So she uses hack attacks, blackmail, extortion, anything she can do to destabilize it. No offense, but Saref was just the latest in a long line. You got any proof of this? There's a surveillance recording in the Tai Young Tower. I stashed it on the server in case I ever needed an insurance policy. Not a very smart place to hide it, seeing as you don't work there anymore. Things got hot before I could move it. And now, I got you to get it for me. Of course, you can't just walk into that place. You're gonna need an employee card encoded with your biometrics. To use the TYM shuttle. Well, what do you know, Windmill? I've already got an employee card. Just needs the biometrics from my passport to work. So start encoding. There you go. All shiny and bioencoded, just like I promised. Where do I find this recording? On a surveillance server in the TYM tower. But that badge will only get you into the lower city factory via their employee shuttle. And how am I supposed to get up to the tower from down here? Never said it wouldn't require a little finesse. Look, the tricky part is getting through the pangle. But you're a resourceful guy. I have faith in you. Right. And after I'm through the floof? You'll be in the upper city tower. The server you want is in the central security hub. The login and password are on this. Now, about my reward. Tie your medical man! They're here! Banner! I want that hacker dead! You gotta help me, Jason. They're gonna kill me. And that concerns me how? <laughs> 